Hi well, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to not only a brand new episode of Project Alpine, but a brand new season. The last episode is linked above, my friends, feel free to go and check that one out. But let's jump in and see what the season's expectations are and how busy I have been during the summer. Now first and foremost, um, as obviously you would have seen on the thumbnail anyway, we remain at this football club. We are still at Triglav Kranj. I signed on for one more season. They offered me a contract basically after the uh, playoff um, final had uh, taken place. Obviously, we know we went out, but uh, they obviously were happy enough with last year. I've decided to stay on because I just think it was going to be tough for us to get another job. Um, as you can see, we've got 51% win percentage at the club. Our attributes are kind of coming on nicely. I've started studying for my national A license now. Um, that will hopefully improve this, hopefully improve the reputation. Um, because I'm going to be honest now, I'm going to say this out loud. Because of what happened in the transfer window, whatever happens, I will not be at this football club next season. The board have annoyed me beyond recognition. Anyway, let's take a look at the transfer window. As you can see, I've spent 11,000, but we have made 140,000. Why, you're probably sitting there asking, have you only spent 11,000 then when you've got all that money? They just didn't give me any money to spend it's 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 honestly it's a nightmare it's a nightmare situation there's not a lot of money at the club anyway they just haven't given me a lot to spend i've had to do free transfers and loans to try and sign some players i think i've done a pretty good job to be fair um given the very limited resources but the reason i'm more annoyed than anything is the players that they've sold um, they are essentially our two best players and they've let them go for peanuts in my opinion absolute peanuts and i'm very very annoyed um i don't think there were any at the end no gal schweiger kim du hyong they've left as you knew they were going to on free transfers so my friends let me tell you about the two that have gone the first one is luca burkick he was our outstanding center back they've let him go for 110k i just think he was worth so much more the board went above me. Um, I was rejecting bids for him. Um, I think he had a minimum fee release clause as well of like 200k. So like literally we're asking for 90k more. If if they if they um, if they meet the clause, then there's nothing I can do about it. And then I'm not so angry. But the fact that the board went no, the money's too good to turn down, and they just went above me. So annoying. We we've lo we lost him. I managed to do a deal to get him back. So that was, you know, I was angry because he, we don't have him and he's gone. But I was uh, OK. And then they went and sold Vernon Salja for 31.5k, going up to potentially just under 50. He was our other brilliant centre-back. This guy is not coming back, though. He's gone to the team that just got promoted as well. And that's kind of what's almost like a kick in the bollocks because it's gone to the club that have just gone up and really I would have preferred it if he'd have gone up with us but it's just one of those they're just two class players that have left the football club plus the guys that left on freeze were pretty good as well so we've really just had a big old task on our hands to try to get this club to where I need it um, so first and foremost there is a transfer here on a free uh, Sandy Korolek has come into the football club He's a new fullback. Um, he's coming on a squad player kind of deal, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, there's going to be a big fight, basically, for starting positions this year. There's no one that's kind of uh, nailed on to be starting and whatnot. So uh, he comes in. I think he's pretty good. He has one determination, which is terrible. But at the end of the day, he was a free transfer. And I was just like, I need bodies. And uh, he was kind of the best of a pretty bad bunch because we just don't have the pulling power at this football club. Uh, and then this is what we've managed to do with the rest of the transfers. You will see that Maribor were kind of raided a lot after they bought Burkick. But we'll get that one out of the way because what I managed to do was I've loaned Burkick back for the season. Um, he might have left, but we have managed to get him back. So I'm pretty happy about that. But the only problem is it's like a loan. So you don't really want to develop him that much, do you? Because you you're just going to be making Maribor stronger. But at the same time... We look at what he did last season. He was very, very good for us. Um, and I would have been a fool to um, let my ego get in the way and not bring him back. The next sign-in is that of Luca Kambik, um, who comes into the footy club. He's a left 
winger joining us on a free transfer 24 years of age and i just think he's a really really good option for us out on the left hand side he probably could play you know inverted winger uh, and whatnot as well should we need him to do so uh, during the course of the season uh this is probably my um favorite signing out of everyone is uh is quien quang hai is i think how we're saying the name and he is a vietnamese midfielder he can play cm he can play uh cam um and uh yeah i think he's a really good looking player he's probably going to be our deep line playmaker to be honest with you because i think his attributes kind of match up that position uh the best 400 pound a week is a big old amount of money really for us to be spending but if we're looking at him he is head and shoulders probably above a lot of the players at this football club and i'm absolutely buzzing to get it done i was keeping an eye on him last season um because he played one game he was getting annoyed and uh yeah but i just didn't have the money but managed to do it for 11k potentially going up to like 36 so that was the money that's where the money was spent um, then we got a couple of free transfers. The first is Luca Levenjak, a Slovenian midfielder. Um, I kind of see this guy as more of a prospect rather than a starter this season, but I feel like we're needing we were needing some bodies basically in case anything happened and i think that although i see him as a prospect i think he's good enough to start a few games should we need him to so um yeah he's a pretty good player and then luca badzim is uh, a another signer that's coming on a free transfer and this guy is a center back because obviously we had center backs that needed replacing is he as good as the ones that we had probably not but i do think he's a pretty solid player for this level and i think he will do a pretty good job for us at the back the next uh two signings and the last two signings are loan signings so we got ziga uh dakman who comes in uh from domzao uh, another center back basically because we just need bodies back there and again i think he's quite well rounded just not as good though unfortunately as the players we had last season he actually spent last year on loan in this division at dob and had a okay-ish season and then the last one is marcel lorba Comes in from Maribor on loan, and he's another midfielder. And I think across the board, he looks pretty good. He's only 19 years of old, uh, 19 years of age, and it says that he's got some huge ability for the future. So I'm hoping that like he can be a pretty good prospect for us during the course of this year. So as a result, this is what the squad looks like. It's still a bit thin on the ground. I'm going to be really, really honest. I still think we need a bit more. Um, and I'm going to continue to look for a bit more for the football club. Um, I will now take you over to the competitions. And I will show you what the season preview is. And we have been made favourites this year to win the league. I'm not sure why we've been made favourites. Because I don't think we are the best team in the division. Especially when you think that Tabor Zazana, who have just been relegated, uh, you know, have got a pretty strong team. And if you're looking as well, um, that Krager, Berkic, Ivatic, Kedes all make their way into this uh, media dream team, which is uh, which is pretty amazing, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, that just shows some strength that we do have at the football club. But, you know, considering our depth, I still think that we probably need a bit more. Finances look like this. We are in the red, unfortunately, but underspending on the wages and I'm hoping we're going to make the money back during the course of the season. And, uh, yeah, I guess we just get going. Fixtures-wise... <laughs> We just played some friendlies. We won them all. We were pretty good and um, just looking forward to getting into it, basically. So let's play the one league game that we're going to play today. And it's against uh, Korosakar Dragograd, I think is how we're saying that. Jesus Christ, I can't say this stuff. But uh, one more year of this, probably. Unless we get promoted. If we get promoted, then, you know, my story may change. I'm sticking with the 4 3 2 1. <sighs> I, I just don't know what to do at the minute. We do lack goals with this. That's my issue. We do lack goals, but it's such a solid. It's been. It was such a solid formation for us last year. We only lost four games. Um, we were pretty good last year, so um, I think I'm going to stick with it and just maybe um, evolve it as the season goes on. But we're going to go with Kadez in goal, Ivatic. Matko at fullback, uh, Dakman and Berkic at centre back. We're going to go with Quang Hui, Kopak and Kozar in the midfield. Vukovic right, Kambic left, and Jakubovic. Right, top. here we go, gang. It is our first league game of the season. Let's see what we can get crack a lagging and see if we can win a football match, shall we? Um, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with um, where we're at to start this season. I'm going to be really honest. 
but I still think we need more. Window is still open, so we can still get more done, but it is just going to be a case of free transfers and loan signings. Um, there we go. Ball over the top. Matko made the run. He's in the Yakubovic. Inside 14 minutes, we take the lead in the game, and basically this is the standard that we need to be playing at, and this is the kind of um, momentum we need to get going at the beginning of the season as well because we are favourites this year to go up. Uh, free kick coming in. burkick has gone down. Kozar's going to get the chance from 12 yards. Wow, this has been a very good start. Kozar steps up. Oh, that's a really good save. And it's into Kambik. Oh, my God, how has it not gone in? <laughs> how has that not gone in? Um... Penalty missed, but to be fair, that's a very good save from the goalkeeper because that was bottom corner. That was a well-hit penalty, to be fair, from Kozar. It's just not nestled in the back of the net. And uh, that has raced forward into half-time, headed out. Oh, what is that? Um, that's going to come all the way back to Cadez, who is another player we have really struggled to keep a hold of, Cadez, because uh, he is wanted. Wanted, wanted, wanted by big clubs. Um, but he's a very good goalkeeper. Vukovic drives forward. He comes back into Matko. It's now into Kozar. Ball. You. Oh, what a header. What a header from Adam Yakubovic there. That's a brilliant second goal. I wasn't expecting that because he was kind of going back on himself. Anyway, half time. Um, yeah. Wow, that's a brilliant header. Really good header. It was Kozar that set it up as well, making up for the missed penalty, I guess you could say. Um, free kick, Matko to the back post. Oh, it's just over the bar. Another really good opportunity. Um, we have absolutely smashed them in the statistics. We've got 83% possession, was that? Um, that free kick save. 82% possession. Oh, my God. That's terrible from them. We've cleared the ball out. That's better defending. Oh, that's unlucky. If Jakubovic got on the end of that, we might have been through. And the keeper came. Oh, unlucky for us, the keeper saved. Um, I'm going to bring Craig on. Uh... Yes. That's it, keeper. Lovely. Just need to see this out now. Not long to go in the game. Not long to go at all. 80 minute mark has been met. Um, Kambik for let go. Um... Right, free kick. Oh, it's a good save. It's a really good save. And uh, there's just some weird chances that are all happening at the end of the game all of a sudden. Ivatic into Quang Hai. Into Ivatic again. Quang Hai. Into Mlakar. Ivatic. Mlakar. Kopak. Into Jackman. I'm hoping this is just going to be one of those highlights where it's all done. Or we just get a very, very late goal. Um, don't let them score. I would love a clean sheet. I don't get many clean sheets these days. Yeah. Ivatic. It's been a very, very good performance, this. And there you go. Get in. Well, that's how you want to start a league season, isn't it, at the end of the day? Um, next time, um, I might come back for the Pokal uh, Slovenji, uh, potentially. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's six games. Yeah, we, we like to move this on. I like to do. I like to get seasons in this save uh, as opposed to the Deportivo one. I like getting seasons done in sort of five or six episodes. I don't like to like, um, you know, kind of long it out. Um, but that's just because this is more of a journeyman-esque save. So there's going to be a bit more to it. Um, whereas Depot was staying at one club and, and going from there. So, um 
yeah, so that's probably what I might do. I might come back for the cup game and then there'll be Brazis uh, with that game as well. I think that'll make for a pretty decent episode. So, yeah, very much looking forward to that. Quick look at the league table. There's not really much to look at. We're second. It's one game played. Jakubovic, though, sits on top of those top goal scorers. <laughs> And so there you have it. We're done and dusted, my friends, with this episode of Project Alpine. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you made of the signings. Let me know what you made of the situation at the football club. And am I right in potentially wanting to leave at the end of the year? Until next time, though, uh, like, share, subscribe if you're new, my friends. It's the best way to support the channel. Saluting you all. Stay safe, stay humble. See you next time.